Hi, my name is Neil. I'm a member at Breton Baptist Church and I'm going to bring today's Advent encouragement from Hebrews chapter 6. And I'm going to choose some verses from 7 to 12, but I'd encourage you to read all of that section as a whole. We start in verse 7. Land that drinks in the rain that frequently falls. It produces a crop and it receives the blessing of God and that's a beautiful picture and we can think that it's about uh, actual land <laughs> and farming and agriculture but it, it's, it becomes clear that it's, it's speaking about people and this is a people who, who have a relationship with God through Jesus and the rain is a picture of the presence of the Holy Spirit, the personal presence of God in our lives and so we become a land that drinks in the rain. We read on. God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help them. And there's an element here of a love which is to God, but which is also expressed to others. And we remember the greatest commandment and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength and you shall love your neighbour as yourself. So not only that, the encouragement continues. We want each of you to show this same diligence to the very end so that what you hope for may be fully realised. We do not want you to become lazy, but to imitate those who through faith and patience inherit what has been promised. So there's a double encouragement here for us today. Those of us who have a relationship with God through Jesus, let's fix our eyes on our promise and our inheritance, which we are guaranteed in the future, our eternal life living with God and what a joyful, blessed life that's going to be. And to those, if there's anybody listening who doesn't have a relationship with God through Jesus, it is only a prayer away. Everybody is invited. Everybody is welcome. Wherever you've been, whatever you've done, you can start a relationship with God through Jesus today and you can receive the same blessed inheritance, eternal life, through faith in Jesus. So I pray that if you don't have a relationship with God, then start today. Amen.